Hi, I'm Steve Hargrave and we're at the London Film Festival for Fred the Festival Insider. A rather wet London Film Festival tonight has to be said on the red carpet for the premiere of the big movie this evening launching. It's called The Aeronauts. It stars Eddie Redmayne and Felicity Jones. It's set in 1862 and is about balloonists going on a big balloon expedition up into the skies, the highest that any man or woman had ever flown before. And they face a lot of quite extreme weather up there in the clouds. So you could say it's kind of fitting that we've got this rather yucky London weather with us this evening. And the characters in the film, Eddie's character, James Glacier, is based on a real life uh, explorer and the guy who kind of created the idea of weather forecasts. Not that the weather forecasts helped this evening. And also we have Amelia Wren, that's the character played by Felicity Jones, who is a fictional character in amongst this story. Quite an action-packed movie, actually, not just about two people in a basket. A lot happens. Felicity goes for the elements herself. We're here on the red carpet to catch up very, very quickly, it has to be said, with the stars because of the weather. Felicity Jones and also Eddie Redmayne and also catching a word with the uh, producer Todd Liederman who's behind uh, some movies you may know like uh, The Fighter he was Oscar nominated for and The Muppets so here's Fred Festival Insider a little bit wet at the London Film Festival with the cast and the crew of The Aeronauts take us through how excited you were to get back you know into your action shoes because I was watching it and I was only falling out my seat like with all the stuff you were doing I know it is quite I, when, it's funny when you watch the film with other people and you can see everyone moving and sort of literally sitting on the edge of their seats as they're watching it but I yeah I weirdly I was desperate to do some more action and, and even though it's one of the most phys physically challenging experiences I've ever had I, I seemingly want to come back for more which probably makes me a bit of a glutton for punishment we have to ask you about Eddie again I mean you know not just together again but literally together again in a little basket what well, what's that special rapport you have with him yeah we just um i think we have a real shorthand with each other i think there's a lot of respect uh, we have a good sense of humor you know these there's long shoots and to be stuck in that tiny basket you'd have to be stuck with the right person so i'm very lucky that i was stuck with eddie <laughs> is it much of a sorry is it much of a challenge when there's a kind of a two-hander because we were speaking to jonathan price about the two popes and now it's him and anthony hopkins and this one it's you and eddie i mean is that more of a challenge as an actor than you've done before? Or? I think, yeah, it's a different kind of challenge. It sort of becomes a bit like a little play in, in many ways. Um, and we were lucky on this, we had a lot of rehearsals so we could work a lot of things out. And a lot of it, they're just, they're just literally in the basket. So you're like, how do you make this exciting? How do you keep cutting back? And it'd be interesting. And that came from, you know, finding different levels, keep moving around. And that definitely came from rehearsal. And I think, yeah, it's definitely a more intense experience when it's just the two of you. The pressure is more... Are you actually any good with, with heights yourself? Um, I used to be, but now after this film, I've been scarred for life. I'm never going up on one of those balloons ever again. That's it. I'm done. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thank you. Fred Festival Insider on the red carpet, Mr. Hey, Eddie Redmayne. Hey, Eddie. How are you? you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. I just wondered what uh, drew you to this character and also what uh, kind of unique challenges it was playing playing him. What drew me to this character? He's English, period drama, wet tweed, he's a scientist. <laughs> no, honestly, I was I was looking to do something contemporary and different uh, for me, but this script was so beautiful and and it was it was a sort of combination of adventure and epic, but also deeply intimate that I couldn't say no. So I, I found it unlike anything I'd read and more than anything when I read the script the imagery was so extraordinary in my imagination I was like I wonder if they can create that for real and, and they did and, and some so uh, Eddie can we can we ask you Felicity I mean you sit on your bottom in a uh, basket yeah. while Felicity yeah. does all the hard work yeah, well, did you feel bad at all no <laughs> not, not for a second I was like uh, no I did feel bad I did feel bad when I when I saw the bruises that flew and I've never I mean in all seriousness like, in all seriousness I've never seen someone work physically harder on a job than Felicity did on this it was astonishing every day and deeply inspiring so how, how special to be back you know with her acting it was amazing it's kind of wonderful because she's a great pal as well and so you get to work with your friend every day it's lovely are you scared of heights in real life actually not weirdly no <laughs> Fred Festival Insider on the red carpet, London Film Festival. A little bit wet, but there's a man that's going to cheer us up, Todd Liederman, uh, the producer extraordinaire of this uh, this movie tonight. Uh, it's London weather, and the weather features in the film, doesn't it? Isn't that ironic? Isn't that ironic? <laughs> One might suggest maybe we planned it this way. You, you, you're such a good producer. You produced a wet London red carpet. Yeah, what's interesting is in 1862, 
when the real flight took place and James Glacier was arguing with the Royal Society that there was literally a science and weather prediction, who would have known that 157 years later we wouldn't be able to actually predict the weather? <laughs> We're all looking at our apps, but it doesn't help these days, does it? Um, take me through that idea. I mean, you mentioned there, you know, about the, the, the reality versus the, the sort of the, the fictionalized, I yeah. suppose, in this movie, the great drama that you ramp up. How did you make that decision on what you left in and what you, what you threw in yourself? Well, um, we, we were fortunate to start with a real flight. So this, uh, this flight did actually happen in 1862. James Glacier is a real person who ended up running the Royal Meteorological Society several years after this flight. Um, he went up with a gentleman named Henry Coxwall, and that flight, together with the two of them, was for the purpose of collecting air samples and figuring how high they could, out, could go to start the science of meteorology. That flight in and of itself had a few things that went wrong, but not enough to make a movie. So this is kind of an amalgamation of lots of different flights that happened in and around that time. Amelia Wren is an amalgamation of several different female pilots of the time, mostly based on a young woman named Sophie Blanchard. And so now what we have here is kind of a fictionalized version of something that was inspired by True Story and all of these adventures and all of the things that these two experienced in the course of this movie. And they experienced a lot. We put them through a lot. Um, many of them actually did happen in various flights. So you put Felicity through a lot filming, but she, she wanted to be an action hero again. I can tell you that Felicity Jones, if not the toughest, is one of the toughest performers I've ever worked with. We put her through an extraordinary amount. She, she can certainly do a lot more than I can, I tell you. Yeah. Um, it, the, that's the extraordinary thing about it, you know, watching it. It's one of those films where you are literally falling out of your seat or covering your eyes, isn't it? Because you've got all these great things being done at height and peering over the edges. Yeah, that was the idea from the beginning, and Tom Harper's vision for the movie was, let's film it in such a way where you, the audience, don't ever feel like you're watching a shot that couldn't actually take place in real life that we want to put you, the audience member, inside of the film and have you experience it in the way that the two characters are experiencing it. So that's the idea. And um, there really are some sequences in this film that are terrifying. <laughs> Even I had to cover my eyes yeah, at various and, points. And you're known for being very tough. Thanks for saying it, <laughs> putting the facts out there like I was. Todd, thanks so much. Enjoy yeah. the weather, enjoy the evening. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So there we are, the cast and the crew there, slightly soggy, slightly wet. They've gone inside now to watch the aeronauts this evening. Uh, Eddie and Felicity, of course, uh, reuniting. They're in the theory of everything, of course, Eddie won the Oscar for. So that's why they're quite pleased to be working together again. I think it's time we probably got out of this London Film Festival weather and went back inside maybe to a nice traditional London pub or something to uh, contemplate the work we've done this evening. So this is Fred Festival Insider. I've been Steve Hargrave signing off from the London Film Festival 2019.